Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're doing installment number three of my fall eyeshadow looks series. So in case you're new to the channel, I recently did a video telling you guys what all of my favorite eyeshadow palettes for the fall are. And in each video in the series, I'm gonna be doing a different eyeshadow look for the fall featuring one of the palettes that I talked about in that video. So for today's video, we're gonna be featuring the NYX Ignite palette. And let me show you what it looks like. So this is the palette here that I used to come up with my makeup for today, for my eyeshadow anyway. This was definitely a practice session for me because I usually don't do eyeshadow looks that are this intricate. They're just a bit more difficult for me to do. So I feel like I did a pretty good job for not really being comfortable with these types of eye looks, but y'all will see like some of the little challenges that I had when we get into the demo. So if you haven't seen the video where I talk about all of my favorite eyeshadow palettes, I will definitely link that in the description box and I'll also link the most recent video that I did and what was the last um, palette that I used well by the time you see this video the last palette that I used would be the Jackie Ina palette so I'll also link that video too so if you're new here to the channel welcome my name is Sonia Nicole thank you so so much for stopping by please make sure you subscribe while you're here today because I would love to have you join me let me know in the comments if you subscribe so I can be sure to say thank you because I would really appreciate appreciate it if you decide to join the channel and of course for those of you who are already subscribed to the channel welcome back thank you so much for coming back and thank you for your continued support okay you guys let's jump right into it So we're skipping straight to the eyes for today's video because this is a bit more of like an intricate look for me. Like I don't think that I'm all that good at doing these types of eye looks. So I think it's going to take me a little bit longer to kind of explain to you what I did. So I decided to skip the first part of my makeup routine for this video, but I'll have everything that I'm wearing in my description box. So we're going to go right into the eyes. And for today, I decided to use my MAC Paint Pot. This one is in the shade Painterly. So lately I've been using my e.l.f. Um, I think it's called the e.l.f. Putty Eye Primer and I bought that to see if I thought it was going to be like a dupe for this one and I don't think it's like a dead on dupe but I think it's close enough to where they're kind of like the same thing. This one is the color is just a little bit lighter on my skin tone but I feel like this one and the elf one they pretty much operate the same so I'm just patting this on my lids and I'm sorry if I'm being repetitive in these videos but like just in case there's anyone new here I'm concentrating the majority of the product on the lower part of the lid and then kind of putting residual product up toward the brow bone. And now going into the NYX palette, I'm going to start off with this shade here. These shades don't have names, but I'm starting off with this one right here. And that's the one that I'm going to concentrate on the outer corners of the eye. So I'm going in with this smaller brush first to concentrate it on the inner part of the eye. I have a feeling this eye is probably going to come out a little better than the other eye because this one was kind of like practice for today. But I'm just packing it on. I'm making sure that I'm getting it really close to the lash line. Let me switch my hands here. And what I'm trying to do is when I'm looking forward, I'm trying to make sure that I'm getting this dark color like on both sides of the eye. And when I was doing this eye over here, I kind of had to go back and forth a little bit. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to do the same thing with this one. And then to get the outer part of the lid, I'm just switching over to a bigger brush just because I don't have to be quite as precise over here. And then I'm just dragging it up, just making sure that it's visible like above the fold of my eye. And then I also wanna make sure that I'm bringing both sides up evenly. So let me just go back and add a little bit more over here. That's not totally even, but I'm actually gonna stop right there 
for now I may have to go back and you know clean some stuff up okay so using the same brush I just cleaned it off I'm gonna go in with this shade here this is the one that's going to be in the center of my lid and I'm making sure I'm tapping off the excess because it's kind of like a glittery shade with some fallout so I'm just going to pack this on the center part of the lid I'm gonna have to switch mirrors for this eye so I'm just packing it on and I'm kind of like dragging it down as I'm packing it on and I'm trying to make sure that I'm bringing it up just as high as that green shade on the outer and inner lid okay I'm gonna have to go kind of back and forth a little bit because I feel like the line is not quite as like lined up as I want it to be so I'm going to try and see if I can concentrate it a little bit more over here and I am going to eventually like buff this out anyway but I feel like before I do that I want to get the line just a little cleaner okay not totally straight but I'm gonna stop right there for now I'm gonna pick up another brush this doesn't have any product on it and I'm just gonna lightly brush kind of like back and forth right where the two shadows meet on both sides and I'm kind of like I am going back and forth but I'm more so pulling the shimmery shade in the middle I'm more so pulling it out so that it overlaps on top of that green shade and then I'm just gonna do the same thing over here I'm gonna go over it one more time because maybe I should do it like this I feel like this eye doesn't look quite as buffed out as this one does I'm gonna pick up a little bit of that shimmery shade onto this brush and then use it to kind of buff out. For some reason, I just feel like this is not buffing out as easily as the other eye. It just looks a bit more harsh to me. And I thought this eye was gonna be a little easier. Okay, that looks better, I think. I think I'm going to try to move the shimmery shade and the dark green shade on the inner part of the lid. I think I'm going to try to move them in just a little bit. I guess I'm going to try to move everything over just a little bit. Okay, I think that's lined up a little bit better. Let me bring this green in just a smidge up here. Okay, I think that's lined up better. So now I'm gonna go back in with this brush. I just tapped into the shimmery shade just a little bit. And I'm just going to, again, pull that shimmery shade out and drag it over the green shade just a little bit. I'm sure there's probably like an easier way to do this, but <laughs> these looks, I like never do them because I just feel like I'm not good at them. So this is kind of like a practice session for me. Okay, so I'm taking another small like blending brush and without picking up any product, I'm going to kind of blend right along my crease area. And I'm just kind of like buffing out the edges of all of these shades up here. And I'm just going right over that shimmery shade too. So they'll end up kind of like blending into one another. But that's fine. Because that will make it look more diffused. So I'm doing a mix of like um, circles and swipes. And I'm also changing the direction of the circles just to make sure that it's blended out kind of like in all directions. I'm going to pick up some more of this green shade here and I'm using like this smudge brush right here. And I'm going to use that just to pack on a little bit of the color like right on the outer corner. 
it's the same shade so you may not be able to see too much of a difference but I just want the color to be a bit more deepened out like right on the very outer corner Okay, now I'm going in with an angled liner brush and I'm just going to mimic the colors on the top lash line. I'm just going to mimic that on the lower lash line. So I usually don't do um, eyeshadow all over the lower lash line. I usually just concentrate it like right on the outer corners. But for today, I'm gonna do the entire lower lash line just doing something different. And then I'm just picking up a different brush so I can get the shade in the middle. Darn it, I just put the brush in the wrong in the wrong color. Okay, now I'm going in with this shade here and I'm gonna use that to buff everything out. So I'm just gonna be blending all around the green shade. I'm gonna start on my lower lash line and go right under that green. And then I'm gonna drag it up and then around to the top. And I'm gonna take it kind of like all the way in to the lower lash line. I mean, to the inner corner. <laughs> And now I'm just blending like right where the two colors are meeting each other. And then I'm just blending like right along that line where the shades on my lid are meeting the shade that I'm using to buff everything out. Then I'm also gonna blend like right in this corner a little bit. And I think I'm gonna take a little bit more of the shimmery shade in the center of the lid. I'm just going to intensify it on this eye. Gonna bring it up just a little bit. And then I think I'm gonna also re-intensify it like right on the mobile part of the lid to make sure it's really visible right there. Okay, just cleaning up around the edges. And I feel like I wanna do one more buff over here. Okay, so there isn't a shade in here that I wanted to use for my inner corner highlight. So I'm gonna use another highlighter. This is also the one that I'm gonna use as my cheek highlight for today. This is from Ciate London and this is the confetti highlighter. So I'm gonna take some of this. Let me just find my brush. I'm gonna take some of this and use it as my inner corner highlight. And I'm gonna let it drag into that green a little bit. And I'm also gonna brush it right along the arch of the brow. Okay, I'm gonna finish up the rest of my face, my bronzer, blush, highlighter, and I'm also gonna do my eyeliner and mascara off camera. I'm using the Rare Beauty Eyeliner and the Essence Mascara. So I'm gonna do all of that off camera and then we'll finish everything up with the lips. Okay guys, here is my finished eye look, so let me know what y'all think. Like I said, this was practice for me, so I think it came out okay though. I think I like the way that it looks. I really like the colors. They're really nice fall, like rustic looking colors. I The only thing was I couldn't really find a shade in here that I wanted to use for my inner corner. I was going to use this one here, this one here, but it's just like kind of, it's kind of bland looking. Like it's definitely not as noticeable as the highlighter that I use, but I like it. I think I am gonna start doing these looks more often. Definitely not quite as often as like my regular technique, but I think I'm gonna start trying to do these more often. Okay, so let's finish everything off with some lips. So I'm gonna start off with the NYX lip liner in brown. So this is just like a standard brown lip liner. 
And my lipstick for today is going to be one of the Fenty Beauty, th these are called the Fenty Beauty Sheer Shiny Slip Shine <laughs> Lipsticks. And this one is in the shade Glazed, I feel like. Yeah, this one is in the shade Glazed. So that's what it looks like. It's like a peachy type nude shade. Okay guys, so here is my finished look for today. I really like this lipstick combo. I haven't used, I think this is the first time that I've used this shade since I bought these lipsticks. And this is really nice. Like I think this is a really nice fall like lip combo. And I think it goes really well with the eyeshadow. So I think I did a good job with the eyeshadow. I'm very happy. I hope that y'all like it. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. I really hope that y'all enjoyed the video today. And if you did, please let me know by giving me a thumbs up. Don't don't forget to subscribe before you leave today and I hope to see y'all back here for my next one. Until then, take care. Have a good one, y'all. Bye.